take the football. They'll take the kickoff from the south end zone and move from your left to your right. The Lions will kick off from that north end zone, the Carter Field above them. And we're just about a minute away from uh, kickoff. White tops, white bottoms, green helmets, green numerals, trimmed in gold. The lines in their home blues, navy blue, Columbia blue and white, and Grant Haley will boot it deep. And he drives this kick deep, deep, deep into the end zone, out of the end zone, no chance for Sam Roberts to return it, and Blessed Trinity will set up first and 10 on their own 20. Trinity first and 10 from their own 20. They go to a single back set, two receivers to the left, one receiver to this near side. They fake it, try and fire it out wide, and lock and hit hard right around the 12. We're diving on it, diving on it. The ball looks like it's back around the 13 or 14. Love it comes up with it. They threw it wide, and the Lions came up with it back around the 14-yard line. I couldn't tell who it was if it was Wynn Martin. Ah, they a little swing pass Forrest Bell, and the Lions are going to send two receivers after this near side. Marino out, split out widest. Candler's going to hand it off to Haley, trying to look for room. He's down inside the 15, down inside the 10, and Haley's going to score. Grant Haley. Tiptoed down this near sideline and scored, and the Lions go up six to nothing with 11:42 to go. All right, Luke Hart to hold. Good snap, and Haley boots it through. Your new score, 11 at seven. West Trinity nothing. And deep for the Titans is John Davis and Sam Roberts standing just inside their five. And McGowan's going to kick this short. And it's going to be fair caught right around the 30-yard line by Colin Bradley. And that's where Blessing So Spencer McManus goes under center this time. Has a wing set to his right. Tosses it to that right side. And fighting up across the 30 goes Timmy Mur Timmy Mertz, they go with an offset eye, offset eye to the right. McManus puts a man in motion to this near side. He's going to turn, fake it to Mertz, drop back, try and float it over this near side, and it's picked off! What a catch by Grant Haley! Coletti hit Sam Roberts up in the air, the ball popped up, and Haley came diving up for it and takes it one-handed and the Lions are in business in Blessed Trinity territory at the 30. So the Lions will go shotgun sets and three receivers to the right. The single setback is Jamison. We're going to swing it out to Jamison. No, Candler's going to keep it. He's down inside the 30, down inside the 25. Goes Willie Candler on a nice run. That was, that was an interesting little play. He pumped that eight yards. Pat Jasinski was also in on that play. So here are the Lions on second and two. Handler's going to keep it himself, get inside the 15, still on his feet, diving for the 10-yard line goes Willie Candler. So first and 10 Lions, we start out in a truck set and then send three receivers to the left, empty backfield. We put Lee in motion. We hand it to Lee, coming to this near side. Lee cuts inside, still on his feet. Lee gets down inside the five and the one. Tough running by Spencer Lee there. Good block by Rollins. And, the and Blessed Trinity has to take a timeout as they had 12 men on the field. They were trying to hustle off Chris Keegan. Martin, this side on the left, we go to a, a pistol set. Lee takes the handoff, looks for running room, and he's going to go down. And he goes down right at the line of scrimmage. He was hit hard right. So third and goal, we put Lee in motion. High snap. Candler's going to keep it himself and scramble in to score. Willie Candler calls his old number, faked it to Lee, running to his right, and kept it right behind Bennett Glenn and score. Uh, just a great block 
senior Scott Forrest Bell led the way there, and uh, we, we finished that edge and got a wide open run and easy touchdown. It was a crazy leg for the winner. Got it on now for the next point. Mac Warren to snap. Luke Hart to hold, and Grant Haley to attempt the extra point. Good snap, good hold, and Haley boots it through. Your new score, love it. 14, blessed Trinity, nothing. Four plays and covered 30 yards, the capper being Roberts. Haley approaches it, and he's going to boot this kick high. Going to be taken by Davis up around his eight. Davis up across the 20, looking for running room. Gets up across the 30, up near the 35-yard line on a nice return by John Davis. Now they go to that traditional eye set. McManus goes under center. Marks is his tailback. He's got a flanker split out wide going in motion this side. He hands it to Merck. Merck has quick running room off that left side. Merck picks up about six, almost seven yards. He from the 42. Blessed Trinity again in a tight eye set. One receiver right, one left. They're going to take it, run play action. It's going to be caught on that wide side by Davis. And just shy of the 50, but enough to pick up a Blessed Trinity first down. He so first and 10, they run a trap, and they hand it off to that freshman running back, Milton Shelton, and he gets hit pretty quickly right at about midfield. So here's BT up in a, again, tight eye set, two receivers to the left. Long count, they hand it off to the tailback, and he tries running off that right side and has really no running room this time. So we'll call it third and eight from midfield for Blessed Trinity. They're in an offset eye. They're going to hand it off to Bradley. Bradley gets hit in the hole right at the 48-yard line. I mean, hit hard, lifted off his feet, and dropped right there. Nathan Etheridge to punt it away. He'll get this kick away about his 42, and he hits a driving kick, and Haley gathers in around his 11. He tries to take it back upfield across the 15, gets hit low and high, and gets down right around his 17 yard. Well, the sun has fortunately set over Cumberland Ridge. So the Lions have it first and 10 from their own 17. We shift Lee from the right to the left, so we've got one single setback is Jamison. We fake it. Candler tries to keep it, and he's going to get dropped right there. Just pop lines from their own 17. We're going to send Wynn Martin out way wide right, empty backfield. Well, we better get set. Now we go to a pistol set and an offset eye to the right. And it looks like Blessed Trinity jump. Shit. Yeah, that's why I kept saying they better get set. Shy of the 22, it'll make it second and five. It's about second and five and a half, actually. So Lions go shotgun set, pistol set, offset eye, we'll call it. Offset to the right. We hand it off to Lee. He has a little bit of running room up across the 30. Still on his feet and brought down right around the 33-yard line goes quick Spencer Lee to the Lions. So here are the Lions on first and 10. Again, a same pistol set. We're going to flip-flop Rollins from the left to the right as our tight end. And we're going to hand it off to Lee. He looks for running room. He's going to have to try and go outside. And there's a flag. And boy, they drop him for about a two-yard loss. They see Holding is the call against the Lions. So this time the Lions go empty backfield. Haley is split to this side along with Conrad Kinsey. We fake it to Haley. Candler keeps it himself and picks up about four. Just shy of the 25. It's inside 308, 307. Here, first period. Lovett leads it. 14 to nothing here on the riverbank. But the Lions face second and 18 from their own 24. Shotgun set for Candler. He puts Jamison in motion to this near sideline. Takes the snap, rolls this side, pumps, tries to float it. Out of bounds because he really didn't have anybody open. 11 punts for the Lions last week. They haven't punted yet tonight, but they may be. Third and 18 for the Lions from their own 24. 2.48 to go here in this first period. 
Well, it leaves it 14 to nothing. We put a man in motion as Bowden towards the formation. We hand it off to Haley. He has running room across the 30, but he's going to be brought down right at the 33-yard line, really the original line of scrimmage. On a nice tackle, it's an important 10 yards as it pushes the ball out to the 33. Wynn Martin standing right inside his 20. He'll get this kick away right about his 24. And it's a high, wobbly kick that bounds down inside the 35 and will be down right around the 34-yard line as Western Trinity from their own 34. The ball's on this near hash mark moving from your left to your right, and the lines jump off sides this time. So the Titans send two receivers out to the left. They're in an eye set. Shelton's your tailback. They're going to hand it to Shelton. He looks for running room. He's got running room up across the 45. Going to get pulled down right at about the 48-yard line as he went for nine yards. First stanza of this uh, BT Lovett game. Offset to this near side. They toss it to Shelton running to his right. He's up across midfield. And he's going to fight ahead for about four. Trinity will send two receivers out to the left. Widest receiver is Dylan Coat. And McManus is going to roll out, throw it to his fullback Bradley, who's going to be brought down by Coletti right around. It leads it 14 to nothing, but West Trinity has it just outside the love at 45 as they go to an offset eye set. Shelton's your running back. They put a man in motion to that left side. They're going to run play action. We got a little blitz, and they're going to try and run it high for a screen pass. Bowden almost came up with it, and boy, I do not understand that call. And that's first period on both ball games. So Lesson Trinity is going to go for it on fourth down. Fourth and three. Single setback is Bradley. McManus is going to take it, drop straight back, float it deep, and that ball is going to go over the head, sailing just beyond the reach of Dylan Coates. Dylan Coates looks like he stopped the route. It makes you wonder if he was the primary receiver there. So here are the Lions in a shotgun set on first and ten from their own. We'll call it the 46. We go to a truck set to the left, single receiver to the right. We fake it, roll out. Throw it to Jamison, and Jamison picks up about five, just across midfield, brought down there. 11.25 to go here, second period. Lions have it second and five at midfield, leading at 14 to nothing. We're gonna put one more in motion. Candler's gonna call his own number and dive ahead to the 45. Looks like he may be just shy of a first down. Here McManus and Miles Kinder brought him down. The line's quickly up on third and one. Candler's gonna call his own number, follow his his guard, Corey Erdos, and pick up four, and a Lovett picks to go here second period. Lovett leads it 14 to nothing and is moving deeper into Blessed Trinity territory as the ball is first and 10 to 41. We're in an offset eye. Candler takes it, fakes it, looks deep for Martin, and that ball is going to be picked off. He floated it deep. And nice coverage down there deep for Blessed Trinity. So Blessed Trinity has it first and 10 at their own 12. McManus is going to roll out to his right. Stop. He's under some pressure. He's going down. McManus goes down right around his six-yard line. So second and 15 at their own seven. Single, yeah, check that. I set. Mertz is your tailback. They hand it to him. He's got a little bit of a burst off that right side running behind Bradley. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and 10, McManus is going to fake it, roll out to his left, fire it short and complete to Dylan Coat on a very good little waggle pass. Up go on that 17 yard pickup. First and 10, Blessed Trinity from their own 29. They're moving from your right to your left. Shelton's your tailback, two receivers to the right. He fakes it to Shelton, looks to his right, rolls out, fires it, come, intercepted by Lovett. Grant Wells, right around the 27-yard line, gets inside the 25, down to about the 21, goes Grant Wells. Where was he throwing? First and 10 lines at the Blessed Trinity 21-yard line. Here the lines and a shotgun set on first and 10. We're going to hand it to Haley, running right. He cuts out inside. Haley's got running room down inside the five. But it looks like we've got a flag on this near sideline and it's going to come back. Holding. 
is the call against the Lions. And Bowden out wide, way wide left. We have one single setback as Jamison flanking Candler to his right. Candler takes it, drops straight back. He's in trouble. He's going to look for running room, but he's going to go down. That, that, So we're gonna fake it to Lee, call Candler's own number. He's gonna try and slide inside on second and 27, and he's gonna pick up about six. Love it will send Conrad Kinsey out way wide left. Shotgun set Bowden in motion from his right to the left. Candler's gonna take it, drop straight back. Look, call his own number down inside the 30, down inside the 25, down inside the 20, down to about the 19 goes Willie Candler. He picked up 635, 634 to go here on fourth and eight in this second period. Love it knocking on the door with a ball in 19. We send Martin in motion. Haley's your setback. We fake it to Haley. We look, we run the screen. Haley's looking for running room and he's going to be dropped. That play fell apart from the start. A lot of pressure that time. First and ten, Blessed Trinity, and they blow the whistle. Shelton took the ball from Lovett. Offsides is the call against Lovett. That's the second offsides call. First and five, Blessed Trinity from their own 25. Tight eye set, Shelton's your setback. They hand it to Shelton. He hits hard off this right side, but he gets wrapped up just across the 25. To Letty Ann from your right to your left towards that south end zone. Of their own 27, Blessed Trinity goes offset eye and they hand it to Shelton. Are we offsides again? Because they blew the whistle. That's gonna the Titans will send two receivers out to the right. Shelton is your tailback and an offset eye to the left. Very tight formation. They put a man in motion, his coat towards this near sideline. McManus takes it on the trap play, hands it to Shelton. He's got some running room. He's off this near side. He's got running room down this near sideline and finally going to be pulled down right near midfield as he, as he stays in there as Blessed Trinity is just shy of midfield. First and 10 from their own 49, offset eye. They put a man in motion to that far sideline. They fake it. McManus is under a little bit of pressure. He's going to float it out wide for that far sideline for John Davison. Personal foul is called against Lovett for roughing the passer. 15-yard markoff sets them up. I set. They hand it to Shelton on the trap play. He comes off this near side. He's going to be pulled down by Coletti. That run by Shelton, and they go to an I set again. One receiver right, one receiver left. McManus is going to take it. Drop straight back, fire it, complete, and hit right there by Wynn Martin. The third and a long two or a short three. I set, they hand it to Shelton. He's going to come up short. He's going to pick up about a half yard, maybe a, maybe a yard down to a best time. So 40 yards and penalties have set the Titans up. McManus under center on this first down play. He's going to hand it to Shelton. Shelton's going to fight inside. Fumble. No. They, and he comes right back up. That ball came straight back up into his hand. Offset out of the left. Put a man in motion to this near sideline. McManus is going to take it. Hand it off to Shelton. He's going to come this near side. He's going to get dropped for about a two-yard left. And there's another flag. Oh, boy. I hope that's not on us. Shiflet along with Charlie Ingram made the tackle in this second period on this drive. So offset eye on first and 15. Offset out of the right, man in motion to that right side. McManus is gonna take it, fake it. He's gonna roll to this side. He's gonna throw it underneath and almost picked off. Tyler Shiflett went diving for it right around his five. Palmer, seven nothing. Second and Oh, and let's see, Blessed Trinity is going to call a timeout. So with timeout on the field, 2.19 to go, Blessed Trinity calls its second eye to the right. Offset eye, he fakes it to Shelton, he's going to roll out to his right. Erdos giving chase, he's going to float it towards the end zone for Robertson. He's going to dive but not come up with it. 
going to send one wide out. Davis on this near side. They got an eye set. They put Roberts in motion towards that far sideline. He's going to take it, run the draw to Shelton. Shelton's got running room. Shelton gets inside the five, and Shelton scores. Great call by the Titans. And Shelton. Mark Nolan's Nolan's reporting service to scoreboard. Lagrange. 14 to nothing over Noonan still. Got a two-step, oh, check that, that's Pat, Pat Holland is gonna kick it. Holland's gonna boot it short, and Rollins is gonna take it on a fair catch right at his 30-yard line, second period. Lions on first and 10 from their own 30. Their shotgun set. Candler's gonna fake it, roll out to this near sideline, hit Rollins, and he's gonna get wrapped up, but he get away from one man up around the 30 and get up to about the 34 yard line. Good running after the catch by that play picked up four and make it second and six line at their own 34. Minute 30, minute 29 to go. Shotgun set. Winburn goes in motion. We're gonna keep it with off this near sideline goes Candler. Three is Luke Hart checks in. Jamison's his only setback. Hart's going to keep it, try and go inside. And it looked, looked like the hole was on this near sideline, but and they may end up taking a delay here. Two seconds, one second, no delay. So it must have been right to cut it in half. 14-7 at the half. North end zone moving from your right to your left. And Holland's just going to take a two-step and boot it short to Haley at the 22. Haley comes towards this near sideline. Haley up across the 40. Haley up across the 50. And Grant Haley brought down right at midfield by Dylan Coat on a touchdown saving tackle. Receivers to the left, one receiver right is Marino. Candler's gonna take it, call his own number, scramble inside for about three in the Blessed Trinity territory, right around the 33. Marino will go wide left, along with Spencer Lee in the slot. Jamison's your single setback on second and seven. The Lions flip-flop Rollins to this near sideline at tight end. And BT looks like they jump on a hard count. Flags fly and down. And the Lions go on second and two with Lee in motion from his right to his left. Candler's going to take it, roll to his right, try and get upfield and run out of bounds right around this near sideline, right about the 37. 10, a true rather, John Castro chase out of the 38. First and 10 lines at the Blessed Trinity 38-yard line. The Lions put Grant Tolles in motion, so we've got two receivers out left. Candler's gonna try and roll that side, and there's a hole called on that far sideline as Candler races upfield down that far sideline to pick up about 13, 14 yards. And the ball moves all the way back to the Lunnick 44-yard line. Two receivers left, three receivers right, empty backfield for the Lions. Candler's gonna take it, call his own number, try and slide inside, get up near midfield, be pulled down right around the 48, almost the 49 yard line. Shotgun set for Lions, and I didn't think we jumped. I thought he left early. And early on the Lions in this ball game, and we've got 9.23 left going in this third period. Lovett leads it 14 to seven, but it's going the wrong direction right now. From their own 43, we run pistol set. Lee takes it and barely holds onto the ball as he gets pulled back down. And frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't do it. Shotgun set, empty backfield. Jamison's a setback, we're gonna put Lee in motion. We fake it to Lee. Candler is gonna look, fire it complete to Jamison who dives up near the 50. Martin 
drops deep right around his 33. He's going to get this kick away right about his 38. It's a driving kick that's going to bound down inside Blessed Trinity territory down around the 15, 16 yard line. The lines are down it right there as Grant Wells downs it. There's no chance for a return left. McManus motions his receivers to come back into the huddle. We'll see if a little bit of the heat comes into play last week. We saw a lot of carry from the both of level. Here's an eye set. Quick snap to Mertz. Mertz goes slicing off this near side. Picks up about two up to about the 18. Pick up, and now the Titans will have two receivers to this near side. Tight eye set. They put a man in motion to this near side. He's going to try and fire it. Complete to Coat. And he's going to skip out of bounds right around the 24-yard line is Wynn Martin. So the Lions bunch it up as Blessed Trinity on third and two. Fakes it. McManus is going to roll out and throw it incomplete as Tyler Shiflett makes a great play on the ball, diving. I couldn't tell if he tipped it away. Pass was intended. Good snap. And Etheridge is going to boot this away. And Haley's going to call a fair catch right around his 43-yard line. A nice game and good drive for him. Shotgun set for the Lions on first and 10. Candler has Jamison as a single setback. He throws it underneath to Martin. Martin goes looking for running room and gets across the 45 up to about the 46. Play picks up about three. Another yeah, little tunnel screen picked up four, so it's second and six. Shotgun set for the Lions. We've been shotgun all night. Candler takes it, fires it complete to Mitchell Marino for a first down right at the 40. Let's see where they mark it. Should be the 46. Love it leads it 14 to 7 and faces first and 10 in Blessed Trinity territory. Lines and shotgun set, fakes the windborne. Candler keeps it himself, has a little bit of running room, scrambles ahead across the 45, down inside the 45 to the 42 yard. Much clock in this game, I think, as they can, even though it's third period. Shotgun set for Lions on second and six. We put windborne in motion. We hand it to him running wide. He tries to get wide. He's up across the 40. Down inside the 35 and hit hard going out of bounds. A score would be very, very nice. First and 10 lines of the 34, just wholesale shifting right now. Pistol set with Lee as your tailback. Candler's going to take it, fake it to Lee, look for Jamison, roll out this side. He completes it to Jamison. Jamison tries to fight back inside, picks up about three. Down to about the 31, just inside the 32 to about the 31. Shelton finished him off along with Miles Kendall. Second and seven lines. This time we go I set for the first time in this game. We fake it, we give it off to Lee, and he's going to barely make it back to the line of scrimmage. So shotgun set, pistol set. Tolls goes in motion. We fake it. No, we give it to Lee and we miss a block right at the point of attack. And Lee picks up maybe a yard down inside the 32. It'll make it fourth and a long seven. Now, and sure enough, the Lions are going for it as Austin White checks in as a running back for the Lions. Shotgun set. And Russell Kennedy jumps, so that may make this fourth down a little easier. 27 shotgun set, two setbacks, Lee and Jamison flank Candler. Candler takes it, calls his own number, tries to come to this near side. He's got the first down. He's down inside the 25, just shy of the 23, but he picked up just enough. First and 10 lines from the Blessed Trinity 23, shotgun set. He fakes it to Lee, pump fakes, and he's going to float it deep. Complete touchdown lines. Jack McGranahan alone on this near sideline, catches it in the end zone. The Lions go up 20-7 with a minute 49 to go here in this third period. What a play for him.
Mac Warren to snap. Luke Hart to hold. And Brendan McGowan boots it through. Your new score, love it, 21. Blessed Trinity, seven, minute 49 to go here in this third period. So McGowan tees it up and he's gonna pooch it short on this side where a fair catch is gonna be called right at the 36 yard line, 37. So first and 10, Blessed Trinity from their own 37. Here's an eye set, Shelton's your running back. He takes it, comes up this side and coming up hard was little Spencer Lee. He drops Shelton right at the 38-yard line, play game one. Second and nine, Blessed Trinity. They send one wide out coat after that far right side. I set, Shelton is your tailback. Man in motion to that far sideline. McManus is going to take it, hand it off to Shelton. He's going to try and scramble inside. and He just sort of leans backward and fights ahead for about two up to the 40. On third down, McManus is in trouble, and he's going to try and keep it, but he gets away from one man, gets away from another, and fights ahead over across the 50 and makes a nice run. We couldn't wrap him up. I don't know what happened. Wells thought he had him. And so, and there's four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Are they going to call it? Yes, they did. That'll do it for the third period, but Blessed Trinity is in business in Lovett territory at the 47. We've got 12 minutes of football left. We've played 36. Love it, football network. We're uh, fortunate. It's a football left, and Blessed Trinity has a first and ten in Love it territory at the 47. I set, and McManus takes it, runs play action, rolls this near side. Looks, he's going to keep it himself, and he's going to get brought down. Tyler Shiflett trips him up as he dives ahead and goes down right around. We've seen him a long time for him. Second and five at 11.42, offset eye. Long, hard count. McManus takes it, runs the trap. Shelton has some running room, but he gets hit quickly by Charlie Ingram. Ingram spins him down right at the 40-yard line, getting two on that play. It leads at 21 to seven, but Blessed Trinity is scratching the front. Get three yards and keep this, court, this drive alive. Lions walk up like they're going to blitz. McManus hands it off to Shelton. He gets hit in the hole. Kaletti and Ingram finish him off on the other side of the 40. Love it. 42 yard line. I set. One receiver right, one receiver left. Shelton is your setback. He's going to take it, float it wide. Coach. May have run that route. Late throw. Shotgun set for the Lions on first and 10 from their own 40. We hand it to Lee. He cuts inside. And he picks up about four. Running hard off this left side. Off. Shotgun set. Two receivers to this near side to the left as the Lions move from your right to your left. Jamison's your single setback. Now we're going to put Lee in motion. We hand it to Lee again. He cuts back inside, keeps scrambling his feet, and he's going to fight ahead for about four up to near the 49-yard line. Spencer Lee really moving those feet down, but he'll bring up third and a long one. Shotgun set. Candler's going to take it. They're going to run the trap, and he goes down just shy of the 50. He lost his feet. And the Lions have decision time here. As Sam Roberts drops deep just inside his own 20. Martin will get this kick away right around his 44-yard line. It's a wobbly kick off that right side, and that ball is going to bound and go down right at the be down right at the 25-yard line by Brant Wells during this final period. There are two receivers to the right, one receiver left. Mertz is your tailback. McManus is going to fake it to Mertz, roll to that right side, and slip down. He went to set his feet, and he slipped down. And, and Ward, there's no question in my mind, we know 13, we'll call it. I set, two receivers right, one left. He fumbles it. McManus comes up with it, and he gets hit hard. Mertz gets hit in the hole, and that play may have lost two yards. Third and 15, I set, offset eye. Bradley's up ahead. 
fakes it to Mertz. He floats it way deep and picked off. Grant Haley picks it off at the 41. McManus floated it a little too high, and Haley came up and picked it off. Pass with the Lions are in business on yet another Blessed Trinity turnover. First and ten Lions at the Blessed Trinity 41. Shotgun set. We hand it to Lee on the trap play. Lee goes scam scrambling inside, down inside the 35 to about the 34 yard line. Give him seven on that play. Second and a long three for the Lions at the 34. Shotgun set. Jamison's your single setback. Candler puts Lee in motion, calls his own number, looks inside. Stutter steps, makes another move inside the 30, down inside the 25, goes Willie Candler for about a 12-yard pickup and a love it first down. That's Blessed Trinity's first time out of this second half. Love to run about four or five straight plays and get about three or four yards each play and maybe end up getting scored. Shotgun set for the Lions, pistol set. We toss it to Lee running this near sideline. He cuts inside, running hard. Spencer Lee, they're trying to strip the ball away. And let's see, it looked like they did strip it. Because I saw a bean bag come out, let's see. Yeah, they stood him up with the uh, near side of the uh, They did, they stripped it and love it was. So second and five lines, shotgun set, two receivers out wide right. Coles is in the slot. Conrad Kinsey is wide right. Winborn goes in motion away from the formation and Candler looks for running room and sort of slides down looking for a little bit of a gap and goes to keep with about his one millionth tackle for the Titans. Shotgun set for the Lions again. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Jameson's your single setback in front. Winborn in motion. Candler calls his own number, tries to follow right behind Will Ewing and he picks up three, four, almost five yards and let's see if it's enough for a first down. It is enough for a love at first down. Good job of following Will Ewing that time as he pulled. Shotgun set for the Lions on first and 10 at the Blessed Trinity 13. Clocks inside 305. Man in motion to this near side is Lee, he cuts back inside, looks for running room, and he barely makes a yard down to maybe the 11. Second and nine, shotgun set for the lines from the Blessed Trinity 11. We've got two receivers to this near side, Lee and Tolles. And the Lions are going to call timeout with 2.14 to go. The Lions, I think, were trying to see where they were setting up. We'll call it the 12, balls closer to the 11. Shotgun set, we hand it to Lee. Lee comes this near side to the 10, keeps his feet and stays in bounds. Give him credit for staying in bounds and forcing Blessed Trinity to call a timeout if they have four to go. Lovett leads it 21 to seven. Late, late, late in the second half. Shotgun set, two receivers to the right, man in motion is Lee. He's gonna run wide, get bumped right around the 14, but fight back to near the line of scrimmage, go down right at the 10 of Blitzen. Brendan McGowan comes on to attempt what would be a 27-yard field goal. Warren snap is true, and McGowan boots it through. Nice hole by Luke Hart, and that 27-yard field goal that's in McGowan is going to hooch it short, but it's going to be taken right at the 22 up that far sideline and racing up field. And McGowan is able to fortunately trip up John Davis as he went air. He only has one timeout remaining. First and 10 of the Lovett. 47. Shotgun set, two receivers right, one left. McManus takes it, fires it out to this near sideline. Oh, pass falls incomplete. It was intended for Sam Roberts on this near sideline. And Blessed Trinity sends two receivers again to this near side, one left. I set, he runs play action, he's going to throw it deep. And Wynn Martin's going to pick it off deep right around the 16-yard line. 
And that should do it. The Lions should be able to go in Coach Muschamp's favorite formation called the victory formation and take a knee. Uh, so the Lions going into the victory formation. Handler takes a knee. And that'll run the clock down probably down to somewhere around 24 seconds, second and 10, and again, Candler takes an E, and that's gonna do it. 14, 13, 12 seconds to go. So Lovett stops the Blessed Trinity winning streak here on the riverbank. Blessed Trinity had won the last two times they had visited here in the line. Of course, had won the last two times they visited Blessed Trinity. So finally, the home team wins in this series. And Lovett goes to 2-0 on the young 2012 season while Blessed Trinity drops to 1-1 after beating Westminster last week 25-20. Want to tell everybody to stay tuned for the PlayOnSports.com postgame show where the...